these AI POV style videos are going viral everywhere. The crazy thing is you can easily create these videos yourself using the simple automation that I made inside of Make Grid. Now here's a short example of a video that I made. You get the idea, right? This is how it works. So basically what I do is I enter in my prompt, then I click on run once, and then this entire automation will start working on it. Then what happens inside of my document, I get the script, I get the environment, and then once the video is ready, I can watch it. And thanks to the new game-changing feature that is Make Grid, we can now easily access and view all of our automations all at once. Let me explain to you how that works. And let me also explain what Make Grid is. So how do you even access this new feature that is called Make Grid? Now the first thing you do is you click on the link in the description down below. What this will do is this will give you one month of make pro for completely free after you've logged in then over here on the left hand side you will see this new feature that is called grid and if you go over to your scenarios then you can see the grid feature here as well you can now view each of your scenarios inside of the grid but let me just show you so you can understand now this is make grid and here we have a clear overview of all of my automations so for example if i log in here and i just flow above it then i can see that everything is going through and from this one request logger. Now I can see this in any type of automation so you can have a clear overview of what's going on, how the automation works, and you can even see things go wrong here. So for example, here I can easily fix this error because it gives me a clear overview that something is going wrong in this automation. This is perfect for anyone that has multiple scenarios or if you run this for your clients, for example, because you can now easily view where there is an issue and you can also visually explain how your automation works. If I go back to my Make account, then here you can see that my automations are quite a mess. Like it wasn't that organized, but ever since I started using this grid feature, now I have everything completely organized. So let me actually go into this automation and let me explain to you how it works. First up, I click on the grid view and now I can see the automation inside of the grid. Right off the bat, I already see that there are two scenarios that are unresolved and that need to be changed. So I can check this by clicking on check. And this brings me over to two of the errors that I had. So what I can now do is I can just remove this if I have resolved this, which is the case. What it also allows me to do is it allows me to see what's going on with this automation. So if we check this scenario, for example, then we can actually see that inside of this folder, there are two scenarios. So this is the first one. And then this is the second, but they're both connected to each other. What this grid allows me to do is it allows me to view the complete overview of everything. I've done this in my other example right here. So for example, this is a make agent. Here I have this AI assistant that is actually connected to a bunch of different tools. So here I have the input, then it sends it to the AI assistant and that can do either one of these three things. So now it gives me a visual of what's actually happening, because if I were to actually click on this and I double tap it, then I bring it over to the automation. Because if I actually wants to click on this and I open this scenario, then you can see that right here, this scenario just exists of three different modules. Now, those are connected to this AI assistant, which I can open the agent right here by double clicking on it, or I can open this scenario. And here we can see my second scenario, which is just again, two modules. So basically I can see multiple different scenarios all visualized into one of how they're all connected. Now let's go back to the AI POV videos because I wanna explain to you how I made this. And for this, you will need the document in the description down below. This is the exact document that we will be using. What you can do is you click on file, then you click on make a copy. Don't ask me to give you permission, just make a copy and then you can like tick off these boxes and you can do it yourself. So you already have signed up to make.com so we can skip that step. Then you wanna download these files, which are my JSON files what you do then is let me just go inside of my make automation so now we go over to my scenario and what you want to do is you want to import this scenario so the way you do this you start up a new scenario then you click on this more button and then you click on import blueprint and here you upload this file that will give you this complete file you will also need to get my second file which is again in this document so now we have ticked off these boxes then we have already done this and now we can set our variable. 
So the way this automation works is basically all I have to do is I have to add in my variable, which is a day in the life of Cleopatra in this case. This could be anything. You could also do something like POV, you wake up in World War II as a soldier. And then what it will do is we will have this ChatGPT that has a custom prompt which you have to connect. So what you need to do is you need to add in your connection. I've literally written this down step by step in a document so you can follow that. We have this prompt right here, which is exactly telling it what to do. And we have our input attached to it. So we have this idea, it uses that, runs it through the prompt, then it sends it to this JSON file and that sends this to my Google Sheet. So right here in my Google Sheet, you can see I have the idea, the caption, the environment prompt, the script and the status. So that is the next step while I'm running this is I get all of this data and it puts it in there and then it's up to me to review it. So if we go back to the automation right here, what it does here is it updates the rows. So for example, it gives it the video idea, it gives it the caption, the environment prompt and the production. Everything that I just displayed like right here. Next up, it will search the row and it will change up the status of this column, which is the reviewing. So that means that we have to review it. But after that, we can go back to this automation and we can see it will generate the script. And I will do that using my prompt right here. It will import my idea. It will give me a POV style video and it will add in the environment prompt, what I have added in there. So next up, it's gonna prepare the video. So let's actually take a look at the document so we can see where we are right now. So if we have already set up the blueprint, we already have connected our API. Then we have set up the Google Sheets. You can copy my Google Sheet, by the way, just by clicking, make a copy. And then you need to connect your Google Sheet in this document. So what you need to do is you need to select your email account on which you have the document saved. Then you need to find your spreadsheet idea and then you need to add in these row numbers. Once you have done that, you need to go back to this document and here you can set up Blotato. I will leave a link to Blotato in the description down below so you can play around with it. It is basically the tool that we will use to generate the images, the videos, and it can also post all of this to our social media accounts. So this is a crucial part that we need to add in into our automation. So you need to sign up to Blotato, you need to grab your API key, then you need to connect your social media accounts. So after you've logged in, into Blotato, you can connect all of your accounts that you want to add right here. I have connected these three accounts. I would suggest you to use dummy accounts first so you can play around with it and test it out. Now, once you have connected all of your accounts, you need to connect your API key to make. After you've done this, you can test out your videos to see how it performs. What I want you to do inside of this automation here is you want to turn this animate first image to true. And then you want to also use animate all to true this means that all of your images will be generated using the AI API key inside Plotato. Next up, we can connect our text to image model. For this, I'm using OpenAI GPT image one. Now on the help.plotato website, if you scroll down to API reference and then go to create video V2 creations, you can see all of the different models that you can use in this. So for example, you could also use Flux Dev, you could use Flux 1.1 Pro, Recraft, Luma Photon, or GPT Image. I would recommend GPT Image or Flux 1.1 Pro. Now for the video model, I will be using Kling 1.6 Pro as that's the cheapest one, and I want to generate a lot of these videos. So next up, what we do is we update this row and basically what it will do is it will give us the script. Then it will start creating the video here. And now we have to just wait like 15 minutes for it to generate the video. Next up, it will get the video and it will update the spreadsheet. And this will look something like this. It will start here, then it will start, you click on published and then you get your video link. And then if you're happy with it, you can go from ready to publish to published and then it will start posting your video on your YouTube channel. If you want to try this out yourself and you want to use Make Grid, then click the link in the description down below, sign up to Make Grid, and now you can have access to making your own automations inside of Make. Next up, use the link in the description down below to get access to this document. And here you can download the JSON files so you can implement all of this and make this automation your own. Now you understand how you can make automations for POV style videos. If you want to learn how to make thumbnails for your YouTube videos, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I will teach you exactly how you can make cool looking thumbnails with AI.